New details in the Idaho murders investigation. Prosecutors now revealing a cheek swab taken from suspect Brian Koberger is a statistical match to DNA found at the crime scene. Koberger is charged with stabbing and murdering four University of Idaho students last year. The key piece of evidence, a knife sheath next to the bodies of Kaylee Gonsalves and Madison Mogan. Investigators had compared that to familial DNA found on trash outside Koberger's parents' house. But after taking a swab from Koberger himself, prosecutors now say the two DNA profiles are match. After a comparison of the DNA profile of Koberger and the knife sheath DNA, prosecutors writing the same profile is, quote, at least 5.37 octillion times more likely to be seen if the defendant is the source than an unrelated individual. Police department search warrant. Come to the door. The night Koberger was arrested at his parents' Pennsylvania home in December, officers in Washington state served a search warrant at his apartment. He was indicted by a grand jury last month. He chose to stand silent at his arraignment, prompting the judge to enter not guilty pleas on his behalf. The indictment charging Koberger with four counts of murder in the first degree for the killing of Ethan Chapin, Zana Kernodal, Gonzalez, and Mogan in their shared home. The family wants to move along. They want to get a conviction and move move past this as much as you can move past a case like this. Koberger will face trial set for October 2nd of this year. NBC News has reached out to Koberger's team overnight and has not heard back. Oh, so, all right, Aaron. So we know the trial is going to be later on this year, but this seems like a real blow for the defense. Yeah, his lawyers have already said they need more time to decide whether they're going to offer a formal alibi. They're also saying they haven't had enough time to review all the evidence following last month's grand jury indictment, having to go through thousands of pages and hundreds of hours of recordings. A hearing to decide whether to pause proceedings on the grand jury indictment is set for next week. But clearly, there's still a lot more work to be done to build out their defense. Indeed. Hoda. All right, Aaron McLaughlin for us there. Aaron, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.